Hello and welcome back. Can you guess what we're gonna do today? Yeah, we're gonna do um, not an oil change, we're gonna do a coolant change, but we're gonna do a coolant flush. So if I read this, first thing to do is to drop the original coolant out and then replace it with water, put some of that shit in it, run it for a bit. Well, I'm actually gonna leave it overnight to do a proper job. Now, when I, yeah, sorry, sorry, run it for a bit and then drop the water mix out and then flush it out and fill it back up. Each time I flush it out, I'm gonna put some into this so we can see what color it is and see if it's any different. Complete waste of time and money probably, but it's peace of mind, isn't it? Because with how much I love this car, we not want it to, uh, won't want the coolant to, uh, or the antifreeze to not look when it cracks on lock. I mean, normally I wouldn't suggest leaving it in overnight neither, but it is still summer, so there is only a small chance of it freezing. So let's get on with it. So the initial part of the process is to open the bonnet and put it on some ramps. And then after that, you take this off. It's in a safe place to do is get yourself a bucket. And then, if you look there, that's on water pump, that's a drain. So we'll drain that one first because it's further in. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that down. Let's so, we just cracked it off because it was very, very tight. Then we moved the bucket into the position. And as you can see, it's now weeping coolant. Let's see what colour it is. Yeah! a bit for our piss sample. Hold on, it's going. Yes. Right, so that's the first initial drop of coolant at the water pump anyway. Let's now drain the radiator. Right, so being a prestigious car, this doesn't have a drain clock on the radiator that I can see. So we're just going to take the bottom hose off. So you need some decent pliers. Oh, it's moving. I will have a bucket under. There. Yes. Right, so next thing to do will be to put this back where I found it. Which is there. Now I will be changing the copper dick washer on there. But we'll do, we, we're gonna be taking it out again. So we'll just change it once. So we'll put that back in, we'll tighten that back up and we'll put this back on. Which, as you can see, is a task in itself. Oh, my fucking arm's getting wet. You can see what I'm doing here, that's going back on there. I don't need to film it, let's use both hands and not struggle like a knob. So as you can see, that's back on, that is back tight. Now it's time to fill it up. So we're going to use water and radiator flush. Not very delicate to pour this now. Blech. Yes. And now we'll add some radiator flush. We'll empty the entire contents of the bottle. And now we'll put more water in, top it up. Now these cars, being as nice and simple as they are, you basically just let them burp out, they're all fashioned. Now a lot of cars, you look down there, look round there, all over the cylinder head, they have stupid little crappy cracks you've got to pull out to bleed them up. With these, you don't need to. All you've got to do is fill them to the top. Right, so now that's full to the top, all we've got to do is we've got our heating on. 
full power. Start it up, make sure she's out of gear because that'd be hilarious if it fucked up off the ramps. And then. It should burp itself. So we just do this, keep it full. Full to the top, there we go, nice and easy. I haven't drained the expansion tank yet, but we're going to do that as well. Yeah, that seems to be staying full now, and I think this radiator push, I mean, it's just fucking washing up with it. Let's put that back on, see if the heaters are blowing warm. And yeah, heaters are blowing warm, so it's pretty much bled up. So we'll do the same again tomorrow and put new coolant in. Sure. I could drain it out now. But I'm not going to, I'm going to do it tomorrow if I'm going home. Alright, so we're driving along now with just water and radiator flushing. So either, next time you see me by the power of video editing, will be um, either tomorrow, and we'll be flushing it out and draining it and rinsing it through and refilling it. Or, I won't get time to do it, and then what will happen is, is the, um, the flush will be left in for too long and it will rot a hole in the heater matrix or something like that, which will be really sick. And I'll have to take dash out or whatever you've got to do on these shitters to get to heater matrix. But hopefully it'll be tomorrow, and it'll just be, uh, we'll be able to see if it works, because now it's got water in it, we just flush. So whatever colour comes out is, if it's clear, then it's, it's took nothing out. Uh, if it's dirty, then it's took some shit out on it. So let's uh, let's cut to that. So by the power of video editing, let's cut to that. Yeah. And by the power of video editing, it's the next day, and it's fucking raining. Sick. So let's get to it anyway. Set that off. Still got water in it. Now let's see. comes out oh yeah I nipped that off previously by the way just I didn't leave it loose last time I've just nipped it off all right now let's try this without getting pissed wet through and see what comes out for that this time and then we drain this as well now that clip is actually broken i don't think you can see it but yes now that is actually quite dirty and there is no drain that i can see so we're just going to use a little pump We'll just pump the shit out. And we'll just drain it that way. And also, new couple of washing. Unfortunately, this hose clip has snapped. So I'm just going to get a duplicate clip for it because that's what is probably going to be available. And now that's stopped, so we're just going to fill it up with water just to rinse it out. And then when it's full, we'll just drain it again. It's not going to clean it fully, but it's just rinsing the header tank out, really. The expansion tank out. Okay, that'll do. And then leave this pumping again. Oh. Right, so before put this back on properly I'm just going to bodge it in place and I'm going to run some water through it with the other drain still out just to give it a good rinse and as I pour this in it should come out underneath yes 
Now this would be better with a hose pipe. I ain't got a hose pipe, I've got a watering can. It's not that modern. So now that's just draining clean water out, so I'm not catching it. So now, I've just run another bucket of water through it, haven't we? Oh, a lot of lens flow. Another watering can full of water through it, so I'm going to pull this off, let it all drain fully. Just pissing that onto the floor now because it's pretty much just water and it's already raining. So, yeah, I'm just putting clean water on the floor where it's already raining. Right, just for comparison, this is new stuff. And we have put, we put that back in and that clip, it's um. One of the lugs has broke off, but it's still going to hold just as well. It just makes it harder to take off again, but I don't intend to take it off again. So I just fucked it back on there. So then we'll fill it up. Right, so filling it is the same as what we've already done, but we're going to use a funnel because you spill a bit of water, that's pretty much free. But this costs money. Now this is pre-mixed antifreeze, so it just goes straight in. So I'm going to fill this up until it's full. All right, and then we'll fill the expansion tank up too. Right, so that's full. Um, that is filled between the lines. If anything, it's got a little bit too much in, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, and now we're going to start it. <laughs> and then we're going to keep this full. That's full. So let's put the eating on full as well. Give it a blip. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and top it up to the top, put the cap on. Well, we'll let it we'll let it get up to temperature first. And then we'll put the cap on. And that's pretty much it, makes the heaters are blowing warm. And then new coolant. Happy days. Right, and now we have it with new coolant in. And I can't go anywhere because some knobs part some shit Volvo in front of me. But that van's quite nice. Anyway, not really noticed much of a difference, but when I put it on hot, it goes hot. Now, when I put it on cold, it used to be between warm and hot. When I put it on cold, that's cold. So it's not particularly hot day today, but this has always seemed to have let a bit of water into the heater matrix, even when it's turned on to cold. So maybe it's dislodged some shit that's fixed that. Valve shutting, don't know. Don't know for sure because I won't know until it's a hot day. Other than that, um, when I recently fitted some daylight running lights to this turd, um, I should have really taken a video of them in the dark to show what they look like. So I apologise for not doing that, but I will add it to the end of this video, which is coming up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sick.